Hey guys, Jessica here. This week's video is a special one. I got a comment on my Sewing 101 video the other week, and it was from this person, King Polo 1920, asking about how to mend a tear by hand sewing. So today I'm going to show you how to mend a tear. I have this tear in my old blue jeans that I'm going to show you guys how to mend by hand sewing for all those that don't have a sewing machine. It's pretty simple and it's pretty quick. So so let's get started. So let's go ahead and gather the materials that we'll need. We will need a spool of thread and a needle. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using red thread so that you'll be able to see me sewing better. But you'll be using a thread that is the same color as your material. And then you'll need your garment with a tear in it that you were going to repair. First we'll get our thread and cut a length that is double the length of the tear. Since we are folding the thread over twice, At this point, I assume that you know how to thread a needle. Basically, you stick it through the eye of the needle, pull it through, and then knot the end. I'm not gonna really show you how to do this in depth because I assume that you already know how to do this. I usually knot the end about three times. This gives it a little bit extra security and a better hold. And trim that little bit off the end and you're ready to go. So first, we will go ahead and start from the wrong side of the material that you'll be working with, which is the underside. You'll begin at a half inch or quarter inch past the tear. So go ahead and go through the fabric there, and then we will pick up one little bit that's on the opposite side of the tear. It can be either the right or left side. Just pick up a little bit of fabric, and then you'll go to the other side slightly ahead of the spot that you were picking the fabric on the other side. So keep on going. Just go back to the opposite side, pick up a little bit of fabric with the needle, and then loop on back to the opposite side and pick up a little bit more fabric. So basically you keep doing that until you reach the end of the tear. Don't pull the thread taut yet. We'll go ahead and do it at the end so it will cinch everything nice and pretty together. You'll see in a little bit. As you get near the end, to finish it off, you taper it back to the middle of where the tear is, about half an inch to a quarter inch away from it, just like you did when you were beginning. The reason why you want to taper your stitches at the beginning and end is whenever you finish and pull the string taut, it will gather all the stitches together and the line will look like it's part of the fabric. You won't even notice it. So go ahead and flip to the other side and go ahead and tie your knot. I usually tie my knot before I start pulling the string taut. That way it won't come undone. It's just habit. I usually double or triple knot it. That way it won't come loose. So go ahead and grab on to where the knot is and pull. Don't pull too hard, it will break the thread. So that looks like it's part of your fabric. So go ahead and tie another knot and go ahead and trim it. And there you go. You can use your iron to press it out a little bit more flat. A fairly quick and simple solution for those that don't have a sewing machine and you have to mend a tear in your jeans or jacket or your t-shirt. Here's a little close up of how it looks. And the favorite, congratulations. If you happen to find today's video useful, don't forget and subscribe to my channel so that you'll find more helpful tutorials every week. See you guys next week. Bye!